CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Muros Manila, hello sa lahat ng nanonood sa hottest and newest online TV show na nagmumula sa Philippine Digital Domain, ang CSI Celebrity Style and Inspiration, the Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle Pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. Kung Lucky 7 ang nakaraang episode dahil featured ang MNL48 at sina megastar Sharon Coneta at Asia Songbird Regine Velasquez for their first collaboration concert na iconic this October, lalong Lucky 8 dahil infinity sign itong episode na ito at si Ogi Alcasid naman po ang isa sa ating makakasama ngayon. Kaya tutok lang po kayo at mag-enjoy sa aming ibabalita sa inyo dito sa CSI. To start off, let us take a look at this week's winners and downers. Winner ang pagsilang ni China Ortaleza sa second baby nila ni Kian Cipriano noong September 25. They named their baby boy Salem. Ang panganay nilang anak naman ay si Stellar, pinanganak siya noong April 2016. Masayang masaya hindi lang ang kanilang pamilya kung di pati na rin kapwa celebrities dahil nadagdagan na naman ang hashtag the sips. Inulan ng congratulatory messages ang Instagram posts nila China na may caption na welcome my dearest boy. Kabilang sa mga bumati sina Marian Rivera, Sab Magalona, Kylie Padilla, Yasmin Curdy, Ina Fileo, Pancho Magno, Carla Abellana at Gerald Napoles. Congratulations, China and Kian, on your new baby boy. Downer naman ang balitang inislap ni Alex Gonzaga, si Narita Daniela at Ken Chan sa airport sa Mindanao. From 1,715,000 YouTube subscribers in 2017, ay nasa 4,470,000 subscribers na as of today si Alex Gonzaga. At kabilang si Narita at Ken sa nae-entertain sa vlog posts ng number one celebrity vlogger ng Pilipinas. Kaya naman todo react si Manay Lolit Solis nang nakarating ang balita na inisnab ng kapamilya talent ang dalawang kapuso stars bilang isang veterano sa showbiz. Samantala, Rita and Ken both confirmed their meeting with Alex sa Prescon ng bago nilang series na One of the Bays. Sabi ni Rita, baka pagod lang si Alex that day and that sana hindi na maging isa pang issue ito from here on. Open po ang CSI para sa sagot ng lahat ng sangkot or comments ng mga nanunood sa amin sa Manila Times TV Facebook pages and via email at csitmttv at gmail.com. Winner na winner din sa Takilia ang pelikulang Joa Ball ni Kim Molina. Sa unang apat na araw nito ay tumabo ng 29.5 million sa Takilia ang relatable comedy movie ng Viva Films. Signal nga ba ito ng muling pagbangon ng pelikulang Pilipino? Hanggang ngayon ay may mga pelikula pa rin kalahok sa PPP3 na patuloy na pinapanood at halos 300 million na po ang total na kinita ng 10 kasale sa festival. CSIRs, do support Filipino films, especially ngayong taon, which is the 100th year of Philippine cinema. Downer ang issue na ginamit lang si John Lloyd Cruz to drum up the movie Kulyon na pinagbibidahan ni Naiza Calzado, Joem Bascon, Jasmine Curtis, Meryl Soriano at iba pa sa panulat ng batikang scriptwriter na si Ricky Lee. Lumalabas kasi na wala ng interes na bumalik sa showbiz si JLC pero here comes Kulyon. Sabe ng line producer na si Shandy Bacolod na siya ang kumausap kay John Lloyd for a cameo role nung nag-shoot sila sa Palawan dahil magkasama na sila noon sa short film na Catharsis. Sa quote kay Shandy ni Ricky Calderon na columnist din ng The Manila Times Entertainment, special appearance lang daw talaga si JLC. In fact, 
Extra nga lang po siya sa kulyon. Mukha lang po sigurong ginamit na ginamit because of the reaction of the people upon seeing him sa trailer. Everyone is excited to see him again sa screen, kaya na-hype. But as a producer of the film, I have to take in whatever hype we can get. Sabi ni Shandy, and that's a quote. In answer to the issue, John Lloyd sent a message to ANCX, the ABS-CBN news channel, for Gentlemen on the Go. For his one scene appearance in Colon, JLC said, I thought including me in the teaser was preemptive. It was the opposite of what I actually requested and agreed on. But much as I am drawn to the idea of letting my work of any kind have its own life and take its own course in terms of output, and mindful of how it mutates, grows, and sometimes gets diminished, I am also wary of misleading an audience. That wouldn't be fair. Hence, I felt compelled to clarify my participation in the film. And that's it for the opener of this episode. Wag po kayong aalis at magbabalik ang CSI. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. Back on CSI at sisimula na po natin ang ating mga certified CSI reports. Welcome back, Izapay, and we love your tan. Talaga bang nakapag-relax ka at nakapahinga? Yes, ma'am. Super saya. And ready, ready to go back to work. Yes, naman. Pero ang tanong ko, Iza, saan ka nga pala nagpunta? Ay, sa May Surigao po, Norte, Surigao, Eden, Sur. Sa Surigao, at isa't punta kami na in Chantel. So, maganda talaga ang Pilipinas. Maganda. Kung gusto nyo pong panoorin, hindi pala, makita lang ang snippets na nga pagpapakita ni Iza ng travel niya in those parts of the Philippines. Log on to, ano wow. yung Instagram account Instagram. mo, di ba? Iza Gabs. Iza Gabs. At Iza Gabs. Yes. Yan. So, ngayon na back to work ka na, mm. eh, kailangan mo mag-work ng mag-work oh, again. Man. Ano ang CSI <laughs> report mo for us today, Iza? Yung CSI report ko po today is certified inspiring. Let's check out Iza's report. An inspiring story in showbiz is about athlete Gretchen Ho, who is now a familiar face on television as host of various ABS-CBN shows. This wonderful lady first came to public consciousness as a star player for the Ateneo de Manila University's collegiate volleyball team, the Ateneo Lady Eagles, and that was from 2008 to 2013. What made her admirable during her time in the UAAP was her ability to juggle her studies and her volleyball career while taking up a difficult course. Double major pa po ang kinuha niya in BS Management Engineering and AB Communication, minoring in Development Management. With plum job offers related to her degree as soon as she graduated from Ateneo, many were surprised when she took an unexpected turn in hosting. In a recent interview with the Manila Times Sunday Times Magazine, Ho said, that much as it seems she crossed over to hosting without a hitch, it wasn't an easy decision to take time out of what she is accustomed to on the volleyball court. But now a star, in more ways than one, Gretchen has remained grounded and grateful in the midst of everything she has achieved in her career, both in hosting and in volleyball. More of her inspiring story in this certified CSI report by Isa Iglesias. I'm really surprised with myself. I'm, sur I'm surprising myself every day. Mm -hmm. Like when I see myself parang and, and remember who I was mm -hmm. um, 11 years ago, 11 years na yeah. since I started. Mm -hmm. 
in the UAAP. Sabi ko, wow, grabe na yung, ano, mm-hmm. yung growth ko. Mm-hmm. Uh, not just physically, but also emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Parang nagugulat ako sa sarili ko na parang ini uh, i- like nang nag-post ako ng Mr. Miss China Town. Ah. Tapos nag-post ako ng photos. Mm-hmm. Stating ako sa sarili ko, parang way back then, sobrang boyish ko. Talaga? Hindi ako nag-aayos, mm-hmm. hindi ako nagsusuklay, wala akong pakialam. Mm-hmm. Tapos ngayon, ganun na ako. Tapos nagugulat ko rin yung mga kaibigan ko ah. sa akin kasi kilala nila ako. Pero I like the transformation mm-hmm. because I feel like I'm able to bring out my best self yeah. or my my potential mm-hmm. with this transformation that I've had. Okay. So no college, I parang I get na nag-double major. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bakit hindi mo tinuloy yung ano mo, parang after your course ko? No, uh, because uh, Honestly, I think now there are so many opportunities mm-hmm. and work. Nag-iiba na yung definition natin ng career and work. It's not anymore boxed into a certain type na. For example, ikaw operations manager ka mm-hmm. o marketing manager ka. O, ngayon kasi, I'm happy being able to determine what profession or what kind of job I want to do. Yeah. So now, I'm not just... Um, a host. Mm-hmm. I'm also, you know, I uh, still I do news also. Yeah. I endorse. Mm-hmm. I advocate. Mm-hmm. I do talks. Mm-hmm. Um, I meron din ako mga startups like Beach Volleyball Republic. Mm-hmm. Tapos meron din ako advocacy na one of the founders in ako. So in a way, I'm still able to practice yeah. what I learned, but just different channels. Mm. Parang mas, ito lang yung less traditional way. Yeah. Pero ngayon kasi ganun na din eh. So parang multi-hyphenated na yung mm-hmm. mga millennials, oh. diba? So ano pang nakikita mong gusto mong gawin na hindi mo pa na-achieve? <coughs> Sobrang dami pa. Uh, Super like, dami pa ang plans for my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, siguro do more stories uh, for ano for TV Patrol, mm-hmm. umagang kay Ganda. Uh-huh. Uh, yun yung siguro pa, ano, papunta na ako doon. And so I want to be able to help more people and push for my advocacy, digital, which is digital literacy, digital wellness. Oh, okay. We're starting it up, going around mm-hmm. schools. I mean, talk no. digital 360. Okay. So and we're still brainstorming, mm-hmm. but it's really about bringing digital literacy to the oh. public schools, uh-huh. to the young kids, because they need to figure yeah. out mm-hmm. the information on social media yes. and how to deal with it, uh-huh. mental health aspect. Mm-hmm. Lahat yun eh, magkakasama yun. Mm-hmm. So, advocacy ko yun. Tapos yung uh, news part mm-hmm. na gusto ko pagmumuha. Tumulong sa mga athletes, tumulong. Mag, mag-bring ng happy news sa TV. Wow. So, more of that. Ayan, Isa Pai, napaka-busy uh, at napaka-varied ng ginagawa mm-hmm. ni Gretchen Ho, di ba? And, um, you know, ako, I saw her the last time I really watched her was um, her coverage. I think she was an anchor for the Star Magic Ball yes. on ANC and you know she talaga naman sigurong wala namang makakapag-question na mm-hmm. she is good at what she does in hosting kahit na ibang-iba siya sa sports pero isa sa tingin mo ba talaga yung mga tinatawag na multi-slashies o dapat ba hashtag yun yung mga multi-slashies mm-hmm. eh nakaka-inspire ba talaga ng mga millennials or mga kabataan mm-hmm. ngayon sa tingin mo Yes ma'am, sa tingin ko, super nakaka-inspiring yung mga ganong tao, katulad ni Gretchen Ho. Kasi, katulad ng interview ko sa kanya, parang na iiba yung definition ng job eh, ngayon <laughs> sa mga millennials. Kasi, sa dami ng gusto nilang gawin, parang napagsasabay-sabay nila yung katulad si Gretchen Ho, aside from hosting, cyclist din siya. Tapos race car driver, driver. oo. So, at ayaw rin niya kalimutan ang volleyball. Ang volleyball din po, oh, oh, napaglaro oh, din siya. Oh, Katulad ng ABS-CBN uh, Star Magic Games. Oo. Oh, oh. Nag-train pa siya ng pa siya. team, no? Yes, yes. Ako rin naman, doon ako. Oh. A- ako rin naman, Isa, actually, uh, impressed ako sa mga millennials natin who really walk the talk, di ba? Yes. Parang, kasi, di ba nga, merong sinasabi sa Pilipino na ningas kugon, like you say that you wanna take up something and then hanggang hanggang salita ka lang, hindi gumagawa. But, um, siguro lang, another side to it, but I guess, you know, she really does know how to 
time manage. manage. Kasi ang hirap din naman minsan if you take on a little bit too much, yes. uh, minsan naman mahirap, it takes a toll on your health, yes. minsan naman half-baked yung mga mm. nagagawa mo, mm. hindi mo rin nagagawa ng mm. mabuti. So, um, siguro ang key word dyan, which I also think no, in our Sunday Times Magazine article, uh, sinabi rin naman ni Gretchen, yes. is to be realistic, yes. di ba? With what you take mm -hmm. on. Um, dapat alam mo na kakayanin ng oras yes. mo, kakayanin ng resources mo, uh, hindi mo mapapabayaan yung day job yes. mo uh, kung kukuha ka ng, ng iba't ibang hobbies. Uh -huh. So kung ano lang yung kaya uh -huh. so, talaga. I mentioned din ni Gretchen na kaya hindi niya napagpatuloy din yung volleyball mm -hmm. and yung job niya yung magiging job niya sana as sa nung pag-graduate niya ng college kasi parang mas um, mas gumanda yung career niya kasi uh -oh. these days uh -oh. tapos sabi niya hindi niya mapo-focus sa isang ano lang din yung volleyball kasi uh -oh. nag-iiba na rin yung uh, mga players ngayon eh mas uh -oh. malakas mm -mm. mas mabibilis mas matatangkad yeah. and if gusto niyang ipagpatuloy yon kailangan mag-focus lang siya doon sa volleyball. Siyempre, pag-athlete. Kaya yung, ano eh, Pag-athlete kasi, kailangan niya mag-train. Mm -hmm. eh, yes. ang, ang showbiz, minsan may, di ba may morning show pa siya? Yes. Ang, ang gising mo doon is actually yes. madaling araw, no? Yes. Parang even before the sun rises. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, it's a good thing na the reason why it's working because she's realistic and mm -hmm. hindi naman yung pagiging multi-slashy is you take it on right away. Lahat sabay-sabay. Mm -hmm. Parang si Gretchen, uh, pinerfect muna yes. niya, quote-unquote, yung isang bagay, mm -hmm. which is her job as a host. Yes. Tapos tsaka niya ibinalik yung mga adventure sports yes. na gusto nice. niya. Oo. So, ganun ka rin ba, Isa Pai? Ayun, parang sulat-sulat na. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, uh, di ba, whatever makes you happy? Yes, ma'am. Diba? Kasi I think yun din yun eh. Parang ang key para magawa mo lahat ng gusto mo. Kung masaya ka. Yes. And those of us who are lucky enough na masaya sa ginagawa natin, eh, dapat alagaan din natin ang trabaho natin. O ang daming lessons yeah. na report <laughs> ni Iza talaga. today. Very full of wisdom <laughs> yes. tayo ha. So anyway, Iza, welcome back. Thank and you thank you for going right back into work. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, see Si Tina naman daw ang maglilive. Hindi natin alam. <laughs> anyway, uh, that has been Isa's Certified CSI Report. We will be back. Si Tina pa naman po ang magbibigay ng kanyang story for the week. CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Ngayon, kasama naman natin, of course, si Tina Pai. Hello, Tina Pai! Ayan, masaya ka ba? Nakabalik na si Iza Pai. Yes, thanks, Iza. Mag Maglilive ka ba? Uh, Hindi pa natin. naman. Baka sa November. Baka sa November. Baka sa November. O sige, papayaga naman kita. Basta lang magsi-CSI report na tayo ngayon. At, uh -huh. at concentrate mo na sa work bago dumating ang mga distractions sa November. What is your report for CSI today, Tina Pai? See you this week po. Ang CSI report ko ay certified star na star. Star na star nga po ang report ni Tina Pai this week. Kasi mula sa inaaping bida, si Judy Ann Santos ay kontrabida na. The award-winning actress whose dramatic portrayals of oppressed protagonists that won the hearts of millions of Filipinos has turned a new leaf as she takes on the antagonist role in Starla. Nagsimula nga panood sa ABS-CBN primetime bida noong lunes ang bagong fantasy family drama kung saan si Juday plays the villain. Understandably, she had to make adjustments for the shift. But why did she accept a Bida Contrabida role? And who was her peg to become the Contrabida she never portrayed before? Alamin natin sa CSI Report ni Cristina Alpad. When we start, na, timing na timing siya because I want, hindi alam na mga anak ko na artista ako. Ang alam nila, host ako. Nagugulan sila pag nakikita nila yung nasinabi namin na artista. Ako, bago naging host, hindi sila naiiniwala. So, saan pa naging ko sa star na maniniwala sa mga artist na ako? Um, and I really wanted to have a tennis na hindi naman masyadong 
nung moment sa drama, yung mas feel good, inspirational, um, nakaka, nakaka-happy lang panoorin, hindi mo pagalim ng hope sa mga tao kasi napapanahon talaga siya. And um, parang nasa estado lang ako ngayon na gagawin ko kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. Medyo, medyo matari makigyan, but I guess 30 plus in the industry, I've, been, I've given a lot of my time already. Parang it's about time that I choose the projects that I want to make and make it a point na it's inspirational and uh, mapapanood ang mga anak ko. Para ma-proud naman sila sa akin. So, kung darating ka din dun sa part na gusto mo na gawin, karapit ka, nagawa ko na lahat ng pangbubugbog at pangapi eh, di ba? Parang lahat, lahat ata na sa pang tinanggap ko na. Parang it's about time na pwede ko na, pwede na ako gumawa ng iba't ibang characters when it comes to teleselin. There are younger ones, there are a new batch of fresh actors and actresses there already who can do that part. And graduate na ako dun. Pwede na ako mag-move forward. <laughs> Napapanood ko sila, kaya kung nila yan, dito na ako sa part na ako. Ah, si ano? Devil Wears Prada. Yun yung, yun yung pinag namin. Uh, para, um, it's very, it, nag-fit siya sa character ni Teresa kasi may story behind kung bakit naging ganun siya katigas. Postura, matapang sa loob, matapang sa labas, pero yung loob niya, parang sinishield lang niya because of the pain na bitbit ng puso niya. And gusto ko yung, gusto ko yung ginawa ng kumaring meryo, na nang bangbabang ngayon sa kailangan mga challenge. Pai, siksik na siksik ang uh, interview with the one and only Judy and Santos. Pero for you, uh, what stood out na sinabi niya sa get, sa get together na to with media? Mm -hmm. uh, siguro po yung, ano, yung part na sinabi niya na she deserves naman na to pick the roles na gagawin niya sa television, lalo na itong comeback niya. Kasi nga naman, sobrang haba na ng kanya. Oo naman. Legacy sa show yes. business. She started out as a child star. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, may children na siya of her yes. own, but still the premier actress that she is. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, interesting nga, no? ano, yes. ang pinili pa niya na peg para right. sa kanyang role ay none other than Meryl yes. Streep, yes. ba? <laughs> the multi-awarded Meryl yes. Streep. So, ang si Starla, uh, tell us a little bit more about who Starla is. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, fa fantasy family drama siya. So, it's about um, yung between na nag-grant ng wishes para sa mga tao. So, mm -hmm. si Juday dito, kasi mayroong kid star, I always have to check the name. Uh -oh. Mayroong batang star dito na um, parang mayroon siyang makaibigan na star na nag-grant ng wish nga ng mga tao sa nine. And ang character dito ni Julian Santos eh. Bida kontra bida, kasi siya yung parang sort of magpapahirap. Doon, oo. Pero mga costumes niya, fabulous ba? Very fab. Kinwento nga po niya na um, yung preparation niya parang 5 hours before nung kanyang um, call time, tapos ano pa, makeup, and then yung outfits niya, mm -hmm. kanya daw yun. Mm -hmm. so, you know, <laughs> Amazed ako kay Judy Ann kasi we know that one of her uh, passions nowadays, which she's actually shared, well, she shares online, is her cooking. Yes. Tapos, di ba, kahit luto siya ng luto, ngayon pa siya at her sexiest. So, saludo ako sa mga mamis na ganyan. Yan ang, mm -hmm. yan ang birthday <laughs> wish ko. <laughs> na kahit kain ako ng kain, sana hindi naman ganon ang weight gain. <laughs> hindi, pero siyempre, all good things. Kailangan niyan pagtrabahuhan. Yeah. And she, I know, Super. she exercises, diba? She watches what she eats, mm -hmm. diba? Pero napakinabangan din naman, <laughs> napakinabangan talaga yun ng, ng mga staff at ng stars ng kanyang cooking skills kasi kinwento din nila na super busog daw sila palagi sa set. So on. Oo yeah, nga, oo oh, oh, nga. You know, for a lot of people, therapeutic talaga yung cooking, cooking no? Mm -hmm. Hindi lang, hindi lang si Judy Ann. Parang, May iba pa rin mga artista na ang ang thing ta, Sharon Coneta, she also likes to cook, de ba? Eh mag sisters, magkapatid naman sila, de ba? Pero we're very very happy of course that Judy Ann Santos is returning to the small screen. Syempre, gaano katagal na since her last prime time show? Uh, well, you mean parang, oh, oh, parang at least five, five years. years. Pero so. panood natin si sa ang probinsyano. Pero Ay, oh, oh. Lang ano yun. lang yun eh, parang stint, no? Yes. Guesting stint nila. Mm -hmm. uh, and siguro naman namimiss din niya, artista pa rin talaga siya. 
at her core. Yeah. Diba? Dahil mm. dyan siya lumaki, dyan siya... Mm. May funny anecdote po pala. Oh. Kasi sabi niya, hindi alam ng mga anak niya na umaarte siya. Sabi niya, ang alam ng mga anak niya, isa siyang post. Oo. Oh, so, oh. yun naabutan nila. Oo oh, oh, nga. So, sobrang saya doon niya ngayon. Mapag- mapuprove na niya sa kanya. Si Lucho at si ano Luna. Pa? Luna, ang cute. And then, of course, her eldest yes, po, daughter. Si... <laughs> Nako, nagkaroon kami ng senior moment dito. Pero of course, si ate. Yes. Kasi they always just call her ate. But mm. it's so nice. They're really such a happy family. And uh, Johan. Thank you, Izapai. Uh, si Johan, syempre, ang ate nila. Parang it's so nice to see these children growing up so well. Mm. Diba? At uh, uh, galing ni Juday. Ma-manage niyang, namamanage niyang pagiging nanay at ang pagiging niyang artista. So... <laughs> at pagiging cook, at pagiging sexy. sexy yeah. So, welcome yeah. back to Prime Time, Miss mm-hmm. Judy Ann Santos Agoncillo. And you know, pag hindi pa ho kayo nanonood, check out uh, the newest family fantasy uh, drama yeah. ng ABS-CBN na Starla. Babalik po kami on CSI. Mga isyong pinag-uusapan, mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat niyong malaman, Tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Welcome to a special episode of the T-Zone on CSI at Child House, a haven of hope, healing, and care for cancer-stricken children in Paco, Manila. On my birthday last October 3, one of the coolest women I know on the planet, Pop culture journalist and Times movie reviewer Karen Konovics posted a Wonder Woman greeting that both touched and humbled me to no end. She asked, how on earth do you do it all as mom of two boys, wife, editor of two daily beats in a Sunday magazine, and most recently, an online show host, all while being encouraging to those around you? I honestly told her it's precisely because of the people around me who love just as much as I do, care as much as I care, and are just as passionate in everything they do as I am. Ang totoo po, I couldn't do half of what I do without people like her who give off such positivity in the world. Come Sunday, my exact reply to Karen's humbling question transpired, all in a single day, when philanthropist and beauty guru Mother Ricky Reyes generously gave me the opportunity to celebrate my birthday with some 70 cancer-stricken children and their families at his haven of love that is Child House in Paco, Manila. It was truly a gift for me to be able to make these brave and beautiful children smile a little more for an afternoon, but only because of Mother Ricky's amazing kindness and the help of such wonderful people. What happened on that blessed day would not have been possible without the love of these people whom I'm so lucky to have in my life. Ang mga kasamahan ko sa media na sina Gorgi Rula, Jerry Olea, and Kate Adahar who were not just early birds but wonderfully read in the mass that fittingly started the celebrations. Dean of Entertainment Journalist Ethel Ramos and my mentor and former editor Crispina Bilen without whose guidance I wouldn't have met the likes of Mother Ricky, who is such a positive influence in my life. Ang mga big-hearted PR bigwigs, whom I'm lucky to be my friends, na sila Joy Buensalido of Buensalido and Associates, Kane Choa, Aaron Domingo, and Justin Irons of ABS-CBN, Angel Javier Cruz and Marian Domingo of GMA Network, Claire Papa of Unilab, Ross Belbunyag and Alex Pastor of Stratworks, Joanne Octanim of Comco and Dita Jingjing Romero of Stratos, who all generously donated backpacks, notebooks, books, pillows, face towels, and cakes upon cakes for the children to enjoy. Of course, hindi mawawala ang Society of Philippine Entertainment Editors, besties ko na sina Ian Farinas and Nikki Wang, as well as top entertainment columnists Ricky Galliardo and June Lalin, who helped me serve food to the kids and their families to the very end of the buffet line. My fave magician for my own son's birthday parties, Ivan Rivera, also came to wow young and old with his charm and illusion skills, 
just as my one call away friend forever seasoned music executive Cecil so Chan brought his first rate talents Ang BOU and Hazel to perform upbeat songs while also inspiring the children's parents by sharing how they cared for their own mothers who are now cancer survivors no matter how difficult it was. Of course, I wouldn't have gotten through the day without my beloved Times and CSI family, Sila Tina, Isa and Arlo, who also covered the event on our day off so we can spread the word about Child House more and get more help for the treatment of live and living of these precious children. My outside the biz super friends also came running like Vike Leave, Irene and Dominic Garcia, Trina Molina and Cindy Ejercito, ang asawa po ni former Senator JV Ejercito, who also touchingly shared her own brush with cancer and healing with all the residents, together with my sisters, Ada and Josa and their husbands, June Esquivel and June Liave, and my niece, Danny, who all helped spread cheer to the children while digging deep into their hearts and pockets for donations to Child House. And last but not the least, beside me all the way was my cute and ever supportive husband, CJ Ariola, who ran around me wherever I had to during and in the lead up to Sunday's amazing experience. They're the reason why I get to do what I do, and I love them all so dearly. Thank you each and every one of you, especially to my guru of kindness, Mother Ricky, for embracing me, and most of all to the children and their families at Child House for truly giving meaning to my 42nd year. Babalik at babalik po kami. the entire team here on CSI Exchange. Miss Chi, bago tayo tumuli sa exchange, yes. ito lang po namin sabihin na ang saya po Ay. ng party. Oo oh, oh, nga. Yes, again, ang saya-saya po namin. Of course, I consider uh, the Manila Times Lifestyle and Entertainment team, my family also. So, I will say, ang saya-saya po ng family ko, ang family Aww. namin dito na nagkaroon kami ng chance to uh, give back no, on my birthday. Mm. And of course, this wouldn't have been possible without Mother Ricky Reyes's kindness and generosity. Siya po ang nag sa atin na magka-party doon. Nasabi yes. ko na ho yan doon sa clips natin mm -hmm. from there. And uh, we're so happy we think everybody who helped us make uh, the 70 children no, of, of mm -hmm. Child House happy for a day. Sana na enjoy nyo naman po yung kakaibang tizo natin for this episode. Yes. Once a year lang ho yun na puro about <laughs> us. Usually ho about artista pa rin. Yes. Uh, siningit lang ho namin. Meron pa rin naman kahit pa paano konting artista. Tsaka yes. mga personalities. Yes. Yes. Performers. Tsaka so, uh, we would like to thank SM Foundation, the Sea Family. Kasi sila talaga ang tumulong kay Mother Actually, Ricky. oo nga. And of course, oh, lagi naman yung supportive sa mga projects din natin sa Manila Times. And you know, personally, uh, talaga naman pag SM ang katrabaho mm -hmm. everything talaga is smooth sailing so mm -hmm. once yeah. again thank you thank you thank you to Mother Ricky Reyes for making that possible and thank you sa lahat ng tumulong at sa opportunity gift nga sabi nga ni Nay Lolit sa akin yung gift sa iyo ni Mother Ricky ay such a gift to be able to give back on, on your birthday. Mm -hmm. Anyway, tuloy pa rin ang mga issue sa showbiz. Yes. And syempre, ang hot ngayon ay ang uh, pagka-mad naman ni John yes. Lloyd. Yan ni JLC. Yes. Dahil parang ang lumabas yata sa mga um, articles and then reports mm -hmm. after nag-press conference yung kulyon ay uh, para siyang malaki ang party niya sa oh, pelikula. Yeah. Big comeback. Oh, sa oh. So, business. saan nga siya nag-react ulit? Just so we can refresh our our uh, viewers sa CSI. Nag-react po siya sa trailer ng movie na oh, cool yun. Oh. Tapos, mm. kasi parang ang dating dun sa trailer is that malaking malaki yung participation yeah. niya. Mm -mm. And dun din nag-pick up yung ibang news agencies na sinasabi, mm -hmm. big comeback niya after nga nung kanyang hiatus. Yes. Yes. Pero oh, it was just oh. last uh, so okay, ang tanong sa CSI Exchange, Arlo, do you think that uh, justified or nasa lugar naman yung reaction ni John Lloyd na medyo galit siya? Para sa akin, yes. Very justified. Kasi ang tagal-tagal na niyang in hiatus, di ba? Mm -hmm. Nagpapahinga siya, naghihintay siya ng tamang time. Pumayag siya doon siguro out of friendship. Mm -hmm. Tapos gagamitin siya for promo. Oo, oh, 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 oh. parang feeling mo ba? Agree ka ba doon? Isa pa na parang nagamit ba si JL? Si? Siguro ano, parang two sides kasi siya. Mm -mm. Parang nakakatulong din siya sa movie kasi uh -huh. parang may aabangan silang tao doon sa 
cool yun nga. Pero medyo nakaka-ano din. Kasi parang saglit lang naman nila makikita eh. Bakit naman nila ganun kalaki yung pag-promote nila. Na ang si... Tawag ang comeback. Kasi, comeback oh, oh. Ang bida si Iza Casado oh, ata yun. Oh, Tapos oh. biglang focus sila kay JL. Yes. So, feeling mo rin, Tina, misleading. Mm-hmm. Medyo. Saka si JL si nagsabi mismo na parang request niya eh, na sana surprise din sa audience mm-hmm. na meron siyang bilang sh- may cameo pala oh, siya oh, doon. Oh. Ayun, medyo na preempt na. Ikaw naman ni Kapay, na-research mo ba to? <laughs> two thumbs up ka ba sa pagkagalit ni John Lloyd o two thumbs down? Um, I agree po na dapat na okay lang sa akin na magalit siya kasi parang usapan yun na hindi nga ganun kala kayong yeah. part and ayun nga since nag-take a break siya tapos parang bigla siyang sumikat na ang bilis agad oh, after oh. yung break. Niya. Well, ako naman, I think, tama naman si Isa, there are two sides to mm-hmm. it. Parang, you know, he can look at it in a way na Wow, ganun pa, pa rin pala ako kalaki. Ganun pa rin ang pool ko, ba? Mm-hmm. Kaya lang nga, we kind of know na John Lloyd is the type that really kind of takes pride in his work. Yeah. Eh. So, mm-hmm. sige siya yung artist na feeling niya, kapag maliit lang ang role niya, it shouldn't yeah, be hinged yeah. on him. ba? ganyan siya. So, meron namang point na iintindihan man natin, tsaka alam natin medyo nga si... He tried to be very private. Yeah. So, uh, gusto sana rin siguro niya. Hello! Ayan. <laughs> May tumatawag sa office namin. Gusto rin siguro kasi ni JLC na siguro nga yung comeback niya is his own. Di ba? His own project. Mm-hmm. Hindi so, lang in his own time. So, naiintindihan ka namin, JLC. Pero ngayon na alam mo na na ganyan ang reaction ng public na ikaw ay, kung ikaw man ay babalik, sana bumalik ka na. Yes. Because... I mean, whatever ang mga issues na nangyari dati, there's one thing na talagang walang makaka-argue with, and that's yeah. the fact that he is really one of the best actors that we have yes. in the country. And and parang sayang pag wala siyang yeah. pelikula. Inaabangan niya ng lahat, mm-hmm. diba? Miski yung mga hindi mahilig manood ng Filipino movies, pag si JLC, mm-hmm. watch mm-hmm. sila, yeah. diba? Parang pinakita akong post sa Instagram uh, na, uh, just to clarify ha, they are still together, sila ni... Ay, Alen. Oo, oh, oh, kasi lumabas din like yan eh. Hmm. Ah, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi naman nga friends talaga sila ni next Bea. project ata sila ni Bea. Oh. Yung mga teaser na lumalabas. Eh. Oh. Last chance ba yun? Oh. 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 Sana matuloy. Sana matuloy. Oh. Basha and Popoy. <laughs> Ayan, di ba? Mga fans ho talaga tayo ng Bea and John Lloyd. But whatever movie naman kasi that John Lloyd seems to have done talaga namang. Di ba fan ka ba ni John Lloyd ni Kapay? Oh. Nakikinig ang daddy mo ngayon. Ay, nanonood pala ha? Na may crush ka. Ay, hindi pala. Okay ah, hindi. naman po, like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay lang, o. Kasi, ayun nga, like, what you said po na every time may movie si John Lloyd, kahit na, like, for example, di mahilig sa mga local movies, oh, oh. pinupuntahan talaga. Oo oh, oh, nga. So, there's your sign, JLC. Sana naman, eh, pansinin mo ang uh, clamor ng iyong fans for your comeback. And hopefully, Although nakakatulong talaga ang publicity sa isang project, whether mm-hmm. negative or positive. Mm-hmm. Pero sana naman, eh, wag naman mauwi sa samaan ng loob yeah. itong kulyon. Yes. Kasi ang daming potential ng kulyon, mm-hmm. not just to be shown here, but all over festivals around the world. So, uh, Chelsea, cool ka lang. We understand you. Pero, uh, alam mo naman, this is really showbiz. So, yeah. ganun talaga. Anyway, yan po ang aming mga views, ang aming uh, exchange dito sa CSI. Uh, sabi nga ni Arlo, nagawa na siya ng bagong email address. <laughs> Kung gusto niyo makasama sa amin, ang haba ng email address, Arlo, ano nga ulit? CSI TV. TMT TV at gmail.com. Ayan, CSI TMT TV at gmail.com. Kompleto tayo ngayon. Oo, oh, kompleto kami yes. ngayon. Oo, oh, oh, Nika Pai. Welcome back from your cruise, Tina Pai. Saka nga ba so, galing sa bahay? bahay. <laughs> Ikaw Ako. naman, galing sa tanned na tanned. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed yes. your trip. And well, last week, kasama ka na namin from your... Yes. In- and, and thank you sa so pasalubang friends. <laughs> Umalis pa kayo lalo. Anyway, <laughs> yan po ang uh, episode... Well, no, ang segment namin na CSI ngayon for our eighth episode. We will be back. Thank you.
blessing of the Manila Times, our lovely COO, Ms. Blanca Mercado, my sister, of course, our president and COO, nagkameo na po siya last episode at malapit na po ang kanyang movie. And, of course, the editors and everybody here, ang finance, Ms. Tiny, lahat po, uh, ito po ang aking Manila Times family. 20 years na po ako this October dito. Dahil 18 ako, so kulang pa ng dalawa. <laughs> Nag-start ako when I was two years old. But you know, this is a family that I love so much. And of course, kulang ang birthday ko pag wala kaming salo-salo. So we'll see you again in our next episode for CSI. Bye! I, celebrity style inspiration.